much for joining me today. So I've still really been enjoying crafting with the spring bright and vibrant papers. So does anybody else get the specialty sheet when you buy a paper collection? I know I get it every single time and I never know what to do with it so it just sits in the bin and it never gets used. Well this time I wanted to use it and with this Blooming Wild paper collection by Paige Evans, this is the specialty sheet it came with and it's always like a little bit more than the regular paper um, but this one is a transparency acetate sheet with all these beautiful florals and foil accents and I wanted to use it this time. So let me show you what I made and I first want to say that I drew inspiration from a video I watched a couple years ago by my sweet crafty friend Sandy and she is at Septaria 18 here on YouTube. She makes incredible projects and videos. She's so inspiring and this is actually based off of a project that I did a few years ago that I when I watched one of her videos and she inspired me to make that. So I'll link my video below and I'll link Sandy's channel below. But let me show you what we're going to be making today out of just pieces of this acetate sheet. Are these two really cute pouches. Now they should be the same size but I accidentally cut this one too small so I just made it into a mini size but this is what we're going to be making today. I'll do the full tutorial. It's so easy. So here is what it looks like. I use this acetate sheet as the front so you can stick goodies in and let me show you. So you can take stuff from the collection and share it um, with a friend or you can use this just to store all of your fussy cuts that you cut out from the collection and you can use this to store it. So here's a bunch of die cuts and just things I cut out from the paper and then you can just slip it in there and and so that will be your cute little ephemera holder for that collection and I'm going to show you how we're going to tie this closed at the end of the video but this is where we're going to be making and it could not be easier. Here's the other one again I cut it too short on accident but it kind of turned out cute and it's a little mini one use the same acetate sheet and then this collection it comes with these two chipboard sets and it's kind of heavy so it keeps that flap closed and so I just glued those on there so I hope you have some coffee or tea so you can enjoy this tutorial let's get started okay to make this cute little pouch right here you need a piece of scrapbook paper that measures 8 by 5 so I have a double sided piece that measures 8 by 5 and then your acetate sheet needs to be cut down to four by six. Now for this, I cut this to four by six, but I wanted to show you something that I do each time. I go to four inches and then I just take it back one little sliver, like a sixteenth of an inch, and I cut off a little sliver off of that end. So I'm still gonna say that the measurement is four by six, but just know that it's better if you cut the tiniest little sliver off that four inch side and off the six inch side. So now it's four by six with the sliver taken off of each of the sides. So set this aside right now and you're gonna need to do a little bit of scoring. It's super easy though. So you're gonna put this in your scoreboard on the five inch side. So all you do is you're gonna score in at one half of an inch don't tear your paper, do it pretty gently. And then go down here and score at four and a half. Then you're gonna turn your paper, and now the bottom of the paper is at the left, and you're gonna score again at half an inch. Then you're gonna turn your paper, and now the top is on the left, and you're gonna score that one at one and a half. So now I'm just going to fold on my score lines, but I'm going to be pretty gentle with this because I don't want to rip the paper. So I'm not even going to use my bone folder. I'm just going to use my fingers. Now that we have these all folded, you're just going to take your scissors and right here where you fold it up here and you fold it in here, it creates this little square right here. And you don't need that square, so you're going to cut it away. But what I found is easier is to go ahead and find where those two score lines meet and just cut this at an angle just like this. 
So now you've cut it at an angle. And then we're gonna do the same thing for this side. Just go and meet that little corner right there and cut at an angle. So now you've cut this and it's gonna close up just like this. And you've eliminated the bulk right there by cutting it at an angle. And then up here, you've got these score lines where these meet and then the two sides. So that leaves a little panel right here and you're gonna cut that completely out. So I'm gonna cut that out meeting that bottom score line. And then when I cut this part out, I'm just gonna meet it at an angle just like this. So that's what that cut looks like. So again, do it over here. Just cut down and meet that bottom score line. And then when you cut this, this little panel off, you're gonna meet it at an angle, just like that. Super easy, right? So the only thing to do before we put this thing together is the flap up here, the little corners need to be rounded. So you just take your corner chomper, corner rounder, and round those corners. It just gives it a nice finished look and it makes it look like a real envelope or a pouch. Okay, so now all you have left to do is glue this thing down onto your acetate, just like this. Looks like I need to take just another little sliver off the top just so it'll fit really well. And I have score tape here, and this is the quarter inch score tape. So I'm just gonna take score tape along all the edges of these flaps. So right there, and just the three sides. We've got this one, and then the bottom. So that's where we have our score tape, is on the two sides and the bottom. And then of course I'm gonna press that down with my bone folder to make sure it's really adhered down. And then just release that backing. So the reason you wanna use score tape here is because it is super strong and then it's gonna be on a different type of texture. This has, this is acetate and then it has like these bumped up designs on it. So I just wanna make sure it holds really well. Okay, so now you've got this all sticky. You're just gonna take your acetate sheet and then put it in just the way you want it. I think I want it like this. And just make sure that it's pretty well centered. And I like to start with the bottom. So stick the bottom down and then you can get the sides. Just like that, it's so satisfying and so easy. <laughs> Take your bone folder and really press that down. Just the glue, try not to get the folds too hard because you don't want that paper to rip. Press that glue down really well and then you have yourself a cute little acetate transparent pocket made out of the cute paper and then you can see the other side of the paper right through there. And there's the back. Isn't this adorable? Oh my goodness. So then just to finish it off, I put a cute little circle right there on these two. And luckily this collection comes with a bunch of cute circles. Let me find one that looks good. Um, I'm gonna leave it a little bit shy of glue from on the bottom because I don't quite glue this all the way onto the flap. A little bit hangs off. I'm gonna set that aside really quick to let it dry and then I'll come back and show you how we're gonna keep these closed when you add goodies to them. Okay, so there's our cute little pocket that we just made. Isn't it adorable? I love that I'm able to utilize this acetate sheet that I got from the collection. And so let me show you. I put the goodies inside this one, all those cut aparts and stuff. So if you're gonna like maybe mail this to a crafty friend and it's not gonna stay on your desk, here closure. I'm just gonna use some of this twine that I got from Hobby Lobby. And actually I got this like in the Easter section during Easter a couple years ago and it was still in my stash. So any twine will work, this is just regular twine. You know I don't measure so I'm just gonna take off quite a bit. So I'm gonna make sure I have some slack and then I'm gonna bring this down the back. Make sure you have at least enough slack to reach the top here. So I'm gonna pull mine up a little bit. 
And then I'm just going to like twist this around a couple times. Looks like it went like three times and then I'm just going to tie a bow. You can do this any way you want, but I thought that looked pretty cute. You can kind of separate these like that. I think that looks really cute if you wanted to like put it in a package for a friend. Just close these up with twine or seam binding or ribbon, whatever you want, but make sure you add lots of goodies in there first. There's so many cut aparts on this collection and different die cut sets. Oh my gosh. So here's this little envelope. I made this out of the, some of the paper from that Blooming Wild collection and I just used my envelope punch board, but this is what I made. I made this shaker card. Isn't this so cute? So all you would really have to do with this is you would cut the paper the same way. So just imagine that this is the paper, okay? And I made it the same way and Instead of making this flap one and a half inches, you're just going to do the same and make it a half an inch. So instead of cutting the paper down to eight by five, you're just going to cut it to seven by five because then that would leave a half inch here and you would just take some sequins like this. I just have these cute spring ones and pour them in. Just pour a little bit of them in. And then just imagine that this is that half inch flap, glue it down, and you have a shaker card. And then what I did is I put some little cute die cuts in there. I don't know if you can see them, but there's some little tiny die cuts from the collection, like a little bird, a flower. I think there's a butterfly in there somewhere. And then I took my um, some of the chipboards from the chipboard sheet and just glued it down. And then I made a five by seven card base. So this is a five by seven card. I just put a piece of paper behind it to mat. And again, here's the cute shaker. And then I just decorated the inside very simply. And I made that envelope. This fits perfectly in there and it becomes a cute little shaker card. I just thought you guys would maybe think that was cute and I was just playing around again with that acetate. Give that a try. It's so easy. I know you can do it. And I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you very soon in the next one.